and welcome to Balanced. I'm Michelle, and today I'll be taking you through a 30-minute Balanced Flows class. We'll have a beautiful 30-minute practice where we'll incorporate elements of strength, range, of motion, and aerobic movement all in one beautiful flowing package. All you'll need for class today is a mat, some blocks, and if you'd like to have a chair for a little extra support, feel free to use it. Remember, this is your time and your practice, so move at your own pace, and most importantly, enjoy. Let's start in a mountain or Tadasana pose. Feet anchored into the earth, arms open, and close your eyes. And just take a few slow, deep breaths. Just checking in with the body. Noticing what feels open, noticing if any areas feel a little bit stiff or tight. And if we notice that, trying to direct the breath towards that area of the body. And take a moment as you breathe in, breathing in a sense of ease and calm. As you exhale out, letting go of anything that is not serving you in this moment. Beautiful, let's take a deep breath up, inhaling the arms up overhead. With the exhale, drawing the hands into the heart center. And just take this at your own pace. You may move faster than me, then you may move slower than me. You do you. Just starting to find that beautiful connection of breath and movement. From here, let's take that to a flowing side or lateral stretch, inhaling up. With the exhale, one hand to the hip, getting a gentle side stretch. And again, if this feels good, hang out for a moment or two. Let the body just enjoy that stretch. If you're feeling a little more movement oriented, feel free to flow a little bit faster. Really nice, everyone. From here, we're gonna move into a flowing half sun salutation to continue warming up. So if you have blocks, they can be super helpful to use. I'm gonna take them right in front of me. And we're gonna inhale, sweeping the arms up overhead, lifting up nice and tall. With the exhale, swan dive forward. Take a gentle bend in the knees if you like. Coming into that beautiful forward fold. Inhale, lengthen out through the sternum, nice flat back. Exhale, folding down maybe a little bit deeper, then push firmly into the earth, then inhale the arms up overhead, exhaling the hands into the heart. So continue with that at your own pace. And remember, as we're folding forward, we're keeping a nice long spine, soften the knees as much as you need to. Even with bent knees, many of us will feel a nice stretch. So again, just starting to find this beautiful sense of movement in the sagittal plane. Again, inhaling up, exhaling forward, inhaling long, exhaling down, and with a nice deep breath, inhaling up. With the next exhale forward, we're gonna find ourselves into plank pose. I'll turn sideways so you can see me, but you can stay right where you're at. So let's find ourselves into plank, stacking the shoulders right over the wrists. You can drop the knees down if you need a little support. Just firmly press away from the earth. Feel the core engaged. From our plank, let's gently draw those hips back into down dog. Bending the knees as much as feels comfortable to get a nice long back. You can pedal out the feet a little bit. Just start to find some movement. We're gonna take this down dog into a plank flow. So down dog, inhaling forward into plank. Knees can come down as you like. With the exhale, taking it back into your down dog. And again, inhaling forward into plank. Exhaling back into down dog. So try to move this in a way that the core is really initiating. So feel like someone is pushing you forward from your hips and pulling you back. So it takes some of the pressure off the shoulders and the arms and allows some really integrated full body engagement. Breathing through that. Beautiful, let's take one more round and we'll find ourselves back in down dog. Take a moment or two here to breathe. You can always take child's pose as an option here. And we're gonna break down the vinyasa nice and slow, inhaling forward into plank. You can drop those knees and we're gonna lower into a chaturanga. Elbows shave the rib cage, making a 90 degree angle with the arms here. Releasing down to the earth, coming up into our cobra. Maybe float the hands for a moment. Feel the strength of the back working. Beautiful. 
and dropping it back into your child's pose. Let's try that one more time, tucking those toes, coming back into down dog. Inhaling forward into plank, knees can stay long or soft, taking it down to the earth, coming up into your cobra. If you wanna take it a little bit further, we can draw up into up dog and coming back into our down dog. Take a breath or two here, and we're gonna move into a lunge, leading with the left foot. So inhaling that left leg up to the air, exhale, step it forward. You can bring your hands to the block or the chair to help stabilize you, and coming up into your high lunge. So as a reminder here in our high lunge, the knees can soften or stay long, your choice. Feel the strength of the legs working here. Push into that front heel, so you really feel that hamstring engage. Breathing easy. From here, we'll take it into a twist. So that right hand will come down to the block, the chair, or the earth. Start the hand on the hip and start to rotate that shoulder open. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen that twist. And if you like, draw that arm up overhead. Breathing into it. Now think of maybe squeezing the inner thighs together a bit so you can feel some of that stability from the core, the bandhas holding you up. And from here, we're gonna release into our warrior two. Anchoring that back foot down, we're gonna cartwheel the hands open. Gaze goes out over those front fingertips. And we're moving right here into some of our strength element where we're holding the poses and really focusing on our technique. We'll flow these later, but right now, we get to hang out in them, breathe, enjoy, and feel the strength of our muscles holding us up. If you start to feel a little bit fatigued in this pose, you can always take a little flow. But if it feels comfortable holding it, I invite you to experience that. Let's take a few more breaths here. Feeling those arms extending infinitely west and east, the heart open in the center. From here, we're going to find our reverse warrior. So let's turn our front palms up. We're gonna reach forward like you're reaching towards someone or something that you love and gently tip up and back. So our base pose is right here. We're keeping a nice strong bend in that front leg. And we can keep the hand right here on the quad. If you feel comfortable taking it a little bit further back, you can take that stretch as deep as you want. I'm gonna keep mine a little more upright, but again, find your own perfect space. The way I like to find my perfect space is that I feel challenged, but I can still breathe. If you're holding your breath, that's the wisdom of the body letting you know that you may have taken it a little bit too far. So really try to connect with the truth of the breath in terms of how we take these movements. Another breath or two here. And from here, we're gonna move into triangle pose. So coming back to warrior two, we're gonna lengthen that front leg and you're gonna reach long, 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 and then let the hands tip down to a block. They can tip down to the chair, to your ankle, whatever feels right for you. So both legs are elongated here. Shoulder is stacked on shoulder, hip on hip. You can take your gaze straight up to the sky, straight forward or straight down, whatever feels good within your body. If you'd like to move the pose a little bit, you can draw that top arm out and over the ear. And check in with that bottom arm that you're not dumping into it like I just did, but that it's helping to support you but your core is also playing a very crucial role in maintaining that space as well. Really nice, keep breathing, smiling. Ah, this is one of my favorite poses for lower back, just release, gets into the QL so beautifully. From here, we're gonna move into Half Moon or Warrior Three. We're gonna come back into Warrior Two, and I do recommend using a chair, blocks or whatever you have available here to help. So we're gonna cartwheel the hands down. I'm gonna take it onto the chair and just start to hinge forward. Full expression of the pose is gonna be bringing that leg pretty much up to 90, but you can take it just touching the floor up wherever you feel comfortable. Now, if this feels like a great place, stay here. If half moon is part of your practice, you can start to sweep the hips open, take the hand to the hip and maybe extend up. So again, yogi's choice. You choose what feels right for you. And I'll demo how this looks on the blocks. You just take your hands down to the blocks right here. We're focusing on the core to balance the strength of the legs and also getting that beautiful extension. So this is what I love about yoga is that it is a multitasking pose. Take another breath here. 
and softly release it down and cartwheel those hands up. And guess what? You have earned a little water break. So towel off, grab some water, shake it out, do a little dance, move and see whatever feels good for you. After the water break, we'll move into the strength poses, that same sequence on the opposite side. Then we'll have another break. In our final round, we'll move everything together in a flow, which will also help to elevate the heart rate. Cheers, everyone. Enjoy your water. So you can stay facing the same way that you have it on your mat. I'm gonna turn this way so it's easier for you to see the movements. I'll be demoing with the blocks on this side. And when you're ready, let's get started and move into our strength work on the opposite side. So starting at the top of your mat, inhaling up, reaching the hands up towards the sky with the exhale, folding it forward. With the inhale, draw long through the spine. From here, you can step straight to down dog or take it through your vinyasa. Again, your choice. Beautiful, taking a breath or two in down dog. And as you're ready, let's inhale that right leg up to the sky. Exhale, stepping it forward to the lunge. You can bring your hands to the blocks to find your space. And then bringing the hands to the heart center or up to the sky. Again, yogi's choice may be dropping that knee if that feels like a good space for you. If you would like a little bit more, feel free to go for it. Breathing into it. And when you're ready, let's add a twist. Again, you can do that with the knee down or leg extended. Try to inhale long through the left side of the body, circuiting length from the spine with the exhale, twisting it deeper. And let's release that down, finding our way into warrior two. Anchoring that back heel down, cartwheeling the arms open. You may wanna heel toe things up a little bit. That front heel should bisect somewhere around the back arch. One of my yoga teachers used to say in this pose that your front hand is reaching towards the future, your back hand is reaching towards the past, and your heart is centered in this moment. So think of all of those moments that have gotten you to be here, which is exactly where you are meant to be. Breathe into it. Try to deepen that inhale, deepen that exhale. Again, if you're starting to feel a little pressure in the knee, feel free to flow a little bit and then drop back down to it as you are ready. Beautiful, everyone. When you're ready, let's turn that front palm up. We're gonna go into reverse warrior, reaching forward and gently tip it back. Again, find your expression of the pose, whether it's here, maybe a little bit further back. Wherever you are, you should feel a nice stretch along the side of the body. And again, if you float that back hand, you should feel that this part of the body, the core, the center, is helping to support you, as well as that bottom hand. You're probably starting to feel that front leg say, happy Monday. And if you do, try and just breathe into it a little bit. You can always release it, but again, find that space where you feel challenged, but again, the breath is open. Maybe take a little bit deeper back here. Beautiful, everyone. We've got about three more breaths here. Nice, let's come into warrior two. We're gonna find our way into triangle pose, reaching long, extending forward, and then I'll take my hand down to the block. And again, you can take your hand to the quad, to the calf, to a chair. Try just to keep it above or below the knee. We want to avoid putting any undue pressure on our joints. Stay with it. And if you'd like to move the pose a little bit, feel free to draw that top arm long over the ear. Ah, not about you, but I love how this feels on my back. Remember, we're elongating and lengthening through both legs. Try to extend through both the top side of the ribs as well as the bottom. If you can find a little more length right along here, it'll feel really, really therapeutic within your back. 
All right, from here, we're going to move into our balance challenge, our warrior three or our half moon. So bending into that front leg into your warrior two, we'll cartwheel the hands down. I'm gonna use my blocks here and I'm gonna shift forward. So again, I'm lining my shoulder right above my wrist, my hip right above my ankle. And then again, you may just take it an inch or two off the ground. You may take it a bit further. Go to a place where you feel like things are a little bit challenging, but manageable. And if you fall back down, remember yoga is just like life. It's yet another opportunity to get back up. If you would like to stack the hips and you did half moon on the other side, feel free to do so. I'm gonna stay right here in my warrior three. Breathe into it. Enjoy the challenge of the balance. Balance, enjoy the stillness. Beautiful, everyone. Stepping that back foot in, ground through the legs. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. With the exhale, we're gonna fold forward, bending the knees as much as you need to, and step into our plank pose. From here, we're gonna find a side plank. So the right arm hand comes a little bit more to the midline, and we'll lift it up into our side plank. Now, for a little bit of stability, you can step that front foot forward or drop that back knee down. Just try and get some sort of movement, some sort of load into that supported arm. Lift high through the hips again to engage the core here. We've got about three more seconds and we'll take it over to the opposite side. When you're ready, let's step back into our plank and shift it over to the opposite side. Again, opting to step the foot forward, drop the bottom knee down, anything that you need to do to feel successful in the pose. Breathing into it. Beautiful, gently coming back into center, drop those knees, take a little breather in child's pose. And guess what, you've made it through that second round, the strength portion. We're gonna take a moment to grab some water, towel off as you need to, and then we'll get ready to move into our flow sequence. Now that we know the moves, we can get out of our heads a little bit, our bodies know what to do. You can flow, enjoy, and just be in the moment. I will cue you through the poses. If you wanna move faster than me, slower than me, if you wanna move differently, feel free. This is what about the joy of movement and just that sense of elemental breath and body. So I'm going to keep the chair on one side and the blocks on the other. So you can see my optionality both ways. But again, if it feels good going fully to the floor, I invite you to do that as well. Find a way to move that feels wonderful for you in this moment. Let's start with our sun salutation flow. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to fold forward. I'm gonna keep it on the chair here, or you can take it to your blocks of the ground into a plank pose, into our chaturanga, into our cobra or up dog, and into our down dog. Take a few moments here and gently walk or jump the feet back in, grounding through the legs, inhaling up. Exhaling forward fold. Inhale to extend. Exhale, take it down. Stepping back into your plank. Straight to down dog or through your chaturanga. Up dog and back into down dog. Let's take that one more time through. Inhaling up. This time I'll do it without the chair. Exhaling down. Inhaling to extend long. Take it into your plank. Straight to down dog or through your vinyasa. Into your cobra or up dog. And into your down dog. From here, let's take it into our flow with our movement pattern starting with the lunge. Left foot steps forward. I'll use the chair and come up into a high lunge. Breathing tall. As you're ready, taking it over into the twisting lunge. And let's anchor that back foot down, opening up into warrior two. As you're ready, finding your way into that reverse warrior. Coming back into warrior two, straightening that front leg, reaching long and finding your triangle pose. and bending into that front knee, taking your pick of warrior three or half moon, shifting forward, 
And again, it may go an inch off the floor, it may go a little bit further. It's all good. And bringing the feet together, grounding through the earth. Inhale to lift. Exhaling to fold it forward. Inhale to step long. Take it straight to down dog or through your flow, your choice. Taking that left foot, stepping it forward to the lunge. You may need to use your hand to help step it forward. Knees down or up in that high lunge. And take it gently into that twist. And opening up to our warrior two. Now what I love about this flow is that this isn't like a run. It's not a crazy high heart rate. But if you were to use a heart rate monitor, you would find that you are in the lower element of your aerobic range. So this is a very mindful and gentle way to explore that movement. Let's come into that warrior two and your choice of your warrior three or your half moon. And let's release that down. And we're gonna come to an inhale up. And we're gonna exhale, fold it forward into our plank pose. Now, this is how it would look like on the ground. I will show you what it looks like on the chair. And we're gonna go into some mountain climbers here. So just exhaling forward and move this at your own pace. If you wanna take this a little bit faster into a run, feel free to do so or keep it nice and mindful. And this is a great way that we're working core and upper body all at the same time. And let's bring that back into plank. You can drop the knees if you need a little breather. If you're ready to move on, we'll take some plank taps or jacks. So this is the tap right here. If you'd like to jack it, you can just take a little jump in and out. Keep breathing here. Remember, we're pushing this, but the breath is the foundation. If there is no breath, there is no movement. Beautiful, and let's finish that up. Walk those feet in, either right here or down into your child's pose. And gently coming up. We're gonna take it over to the opposite side here. So I'm gonna move into my blocks, and we'll take that sun salutation flow. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to take it forward. Inhaling long, straight to down dog or through your flow. And gently walk or jump the feet in. Grounding through the legs, reverse swan dive up. Let's take that through one more sun salutation. Anchoring down, inhale to extend, straight to down dog or through your flow. Yogi's choice. Let's all meet in down dog. Take a few breaths here and we'll move into our flow starting with the high lunge. Stepping that right foot forward and again you'll see I'm using my hand to help. Dropping the knee or taking a high lunge. And let's open it up into a twist. Feel the beauty of that release in the back. And let's open it out into warrior two. Feeling the strength of those warrior legs. Let's take it into our reverse warrior. And back into warrior two. Straightening the front leg, reaching long. And I'm getting my block or my triangle fix. Bending the knee into your warrior two. Taking your choice of half moon or warrior three. And anchoring down, let's take that flow again, starting with the sun salutation. Inhaling to lift, exhaling down. Inhaling to extend, straight to down dog or through your flow. Beautiful, everyone. Stepping that right foot forward to the lunge. And again, take your time to get here. Coming up into your high lunge. And into the twist. Anchoring down, opening up to your warrior two. Front palm up, tipping it back to reverse warrior. And back into warrior two, lengthening that front leg. Trikonasan, triangle pose. And let's bend that front knee coming into half moon 
or Warrior Three. Your choice. And stepping both feet together, grounding through those legs, inhaling the arms up overhead, exhaling the hands into the heart center. And let's step nice and wide on your mat. You've made it through the flow of the poses. We're now just gonna take a god or goddess flow. So the knees are tracking right over the toes. You can take any arms that you want, opening and closing, flowing. You can do whatever the spirit moves you to do. Just getting a nice deep stance here. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Feel how the breath and the strength of your legs support you here. And then we're gonna slowly step it in into a chair flow. So bending into your chair and up. And again, you can just keep the hands right at the heart center if that feels better for you. If you'd like to flow them up and down, you can do whatever feels natural within your body. Keeping that breath, oxygenating the body. And let's just bring it back into mountain. Check in with your body. Check in with your breath. Just notice anything that has shifted since the start of class. Now to play with our balance a little bit and further bring down our heart rate, we will move into tree pose. So I'm just gonna turn my chair around to make it a little bit easier for me. And we can start with one foot, just right in at the ankle, to the calf or the inner thigh. Again, just keep that foot above or below the knee. Think of pushing the leg into the foot and the foot into the leg. You'll find that creates a little bit of sense of stability. And you can take both hands to the heart center or extend up. And again, if you fall down, as I said earlier, it's just a chance to get back up. It also means you went for it. Nothing good happens without a little risk. Taking it down, let's shift over to the opposite side. So again, taking your pick of where your tree is going to blossom today. Again, hands at the heart or extending up. If you're feeling very adventurous, you can close your eyes. I will tell you, I typically fall over when I do that. And again, it's okay. Let's bring the hands into the heart center. Again, just take a moment in mountain. Take a few slow, deep breaths. We're gonna find our way down to the earth. So just take your time to come down. You've earned a nice, deep twist here. So slowly lowering it onto the ground. Hug those knees into the chest. Give yourselves a big hug. Just rock it out a little bit side to side. And taking the arms out to a T position, gently cross the legs over and softly shift to one side. Oh, got a nice little crack there. Now, if your knees are falling to the left, try to keep that right shoulder as connected as you feel comfortable to the ground. And looking the opposite direction from your knees can help give you a nice, just gorgeous twist here. And when you're ready, let's transition over to the opposite side. Crossing the legs over. I'd like to shift my hips a little bit towards that lower leg. And again, turn your gaze away from the leg. You can let gravity do her work, or you can just pull a little bit into the leg, whatever feels good for your body. And when you're ready, let's come back into center and take a few moments for any last movements or stretches you might need. If you're ready, let's draw our legs open, palms open, eyes closed, and find Shavasana. Just giving your body a few moments to drink in all the benefits of your practice today. Now, if you have the time, I encourage you to remain in Shavasana for a few more minutes and just enjoy this space. 
but if you are ready, start to bring a little movement to the fingers and toes. Softly roll over to one side and gently bringing yourself up to seated. And that is your Balanced Flows class for today. Thank you so much for joining me, for working so hard, for breathing and moving so beautifully. I hope this time has left you feeling stronger, more centered, more grounded. I'm Michelle, and I'll see you next time at Balanced. Namaste. Thank you.